and you're looking to fix your golf slice, well in this next video I'm going to show you the number one reason why you slice the golf ball and five key areas on how to fix it really fast and get your game back on track. I'll see you soon. Hey, it's Troy from Hitting It Solid here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get rid of your golf slice, fix it fast, in a really short amount of time in just 10 minutes. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I get here helps me grow the channel and provide more great content to help us all improve our golf games and, and get better. So, uh, in this next video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through how to get rid of our golf slice. So the first thing to understand is what is a golf slice? So if you played golf for any amount of time, you would have had a golf slice. And basically what it looks like is, if I'm a right hander, and I'm aiming down towards the camera on the target line, it'll be a shot that starts left of the target, and it'll bend right around to the right, and usually end up in a lot of trouble on the golf course. And it's a lot weaker golf shot, generally doesn't go as far as a straight shot or a, or a draw. And it's also important to understand a slice is very different from a fade. Fade is a lot straighter shot, we just have a little tiny bend at the end that's a lot more controlled. But a slice will cost you a lot of distance and obviously a lot of accuracy as well. So I'm going to take you through five key areas to help you fix your slice. I'm going to identify the number one reason why you slice a ball, and this one's really key. So and make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to be taking you through each piece and it's important you grasp each part of the swing to get rid of your golf slice properly. So I guess the number one thing to talk about is what is the number one issue why you slice a golf ball. Now most instructors will generally say it's an over the top swing, you're swinging across the line and whilst that's very true there's another bigger reason why that even happens in the first place. So when we talk about over the top what most instructors, the first thing they'll say is with your slicing is you're doing this, you're going back here and you're going, you're getting really steep and you're cutting across the golf ball. And while that, that is very true, that is a reason why you slice, I believe it's a direct result of the number one reason why you slice the, go the golf ball and that's an open club face. So and what I mean by that is if I'm, I'm setting up down here and I take my club back in the takeaway and that face is wide open pointing toe up towards the sky and if I come down and that face is open pointing out to the right open at the top here basically open right from the start of the swing right through to the end that's the number one reason why you slice the golf ball a lot of these other issues and I'm going to go through a few of them are a direct result of having that open club face so the first thing we need to fix in an open club face so is your grip because if your grip is not strong enough you're going to have an open club face right from the start of your swing and you're going to have to overcome it with compensation so what I see in most golfers why they slice the balls have a very weak grip and what that looks like is if their left hand is on the club hopefully you can see this on the camera they'll have the grip of the club basically sitting in the more on the, the padded the palm part of the hand instead of in the fingers they'll have it more in the palm something like that and that'll be the left hand that's a really weak position and the right hand will usually be too far over the top usually with some knuckles showing and the left hand generally won't have any knuckles showing at all and when you do this when I grip it in such a weak position like this, watch what happens. As soon as I make my takeaway, the natural occurrence is for that club face to open, toe pointing up. I go to the top, it's still very open. As I come down, you can see this from face on towards the camera, that same grip position. Look at that face, wide open. Just from making a normal golf swing, but because I've had such a, a weak grip, it's triggered a whole heap of poor positions in the swing, such as over the top, open in the takeaway. 
and that will result in a big slice. So what you need to do is get more of a neutral, a lot stronger grip. Really try to exaggerate the change. Whenever you're making a change in your swing, I like to try and exaggerate it a bit to try and get the best result. So when you're putting the club in your hand, when you're gripping it, get it in the fingers. Not in the palm, but in the fingers. And I like to see roughly about two knuckles on that left hand. Give or take, roughly about two. That normally gets it fairly strong. Now your right hand, whether you interlock or overlap, it doesn't matter. I overlap at present. I like to get it more underneath. And a great little checkpoint for that is put your, put your palm of your hand up against your thigh and just sort of move it across like that. And you really should only see that lead knuckle on your right hand. And that's a much stronger, a much stronger grip to make golf swings with and really help you get rid of your slice. So if I make a swing with that much stronger grip, without me even trying, even thinking about it, I do a takeaway. You'll see straight away, the face is pointing more towards the ground. And I'm in a much better position make a good golf swing and get rid of the slice. So the next piece I like to look at is with the aim and alignment. A lot of golfers that slice the ball, they've obviously got that weak grip and that's where it starts from, but they aim way left of the target. Like if my target's down here towards the camera, they'll have their feet, everything aimed at way left, and they'll just be swinging right across the line and bending it around like that so the the body is set up straight away to tell themselves they're going to be curving the ball big left to right so what you need to try and do is just get yourself set up parallel to your target first and foremost so I'll, I'll demonstrate one for you if my targets down this way what I want to do is get my feet and I'm just using an alignment stick and a club to demonstrate I want everything, hopefully this is lined up pretty good with the camera, I want my feet parallel to my target, that's my target there, target line there, I want my feet, shoulders and my hips here parallel to that and I want myself set up nicely there. I don't want to be set up like this, everything open and then starting the ball way left, we want everything set up nice and parallel and we're in a really great position. Start the ball off straighter and that'll help you get rid of your golf slice. So that's one key, one key part that you need, really need to get right to get that swing started off on the right track. Now the next piece of it is your takeaway and we've touched on that before. With an open, with a really weak grip, we do tend to go very open in the takeaway and get that toe pointing right up towards the sky. So ideally what you want to do is get that face more pointing towards the ground, even exaggerated if you have to and having it pointing a lot more down. And that looks something like this. As we go back, you can see that face pointing right towards the ground. That helps get the club head in a much better position that it will flow through to the top of the back swing, through the down swing and help get rid of that slice as well. So that's another key area that you need to get right in that takeaway. And obviously having a stronger grip will help control that club face and get you in that better spot. So the next position that is really important is your backswing, right at the top of your backswing. Most golfers that slice the ball, they'll get to the top and if you can see my lead wrist here with the glove on there, see how it's really bent or really cupped position? The club face is up wide open, it's pointing way to the right. A lot of slices get in this position. They come down and they cut right across the golf ball with that really cupped position at the top of the backswing. Again, a stronger grip will help eliminate this problem and get that club face square. But a great checkpoint for you is to try and get that left lead wrist where you're holding your glove get that much flatter so it looks a little bit like this we take our setup as I get to the top you can see that that wrist of mine's a lot a lot flatter and that's a much better much better position 
to then start your downswing and get that club face a lot squarer so you won't slice the golf ball. So you've got to get rid of that cupping at the top of your backswing. That's a really key position. Now, the final piece is your downswing. Now, I spoke earlier about most golf coaches will work on fixing your over the top and getting rid of your golf slice. And whilst that's absolutely true, as I said, if you can strengthen up your grip, get that club face a lot squarer, I believe your over the top will disappear as a result. Now I'll show you what to do first of all and explain it a bit more. And so an over the top position as we said earlier is when we go to the top and our hands and arm lead the downswing and the club comes down very steep and we cut across the golf ball like that. So ideally what we want to be doing is getting that that shaft to really split that right forearm in the downswing and that's when you know you've got your downswing on a much better plane and you'll get rid of that golf slice. So as I make a swing here, as I get to the top, as I start this downswing, you'll see that, that shaft gets through that right forearm. Club face is a lot squarer and it's really difficult to hit a slice when you get that shaft splitting that right forearm and that downswing. You just don't want it coming down steep like that. You want it more, more on that beautiful plane line, splitting that right forearm, and that'll really help get rid of your slice. So as I touched on earlier, the, with the over the top, whilst it definitely contributes to your slice, the open club face is a much more important thing to work on because I firmly believe if you've got a, a stronger grip and you're managing that club face, keeping it square, you won't have a reason to do over the top. Most golfers will do an over the top move because they've got an open face as a result of a weak grip and subconsciously their brain is telling them I've got a weak grip, they get to the top. They know if they don't swing over the top and round to the left, they know if they've got an open club face, what's going to happen? If they were to swing down the line, the ball's just going to shoot, start right and go further right. So it's a bit of a subconscious thing with that open face. They naturally feel like they have to go way to the left to curve it around to keep the ball in play. But if you can manage that club face first of all with the right grip and getting that face more down towards the ground, that'll eliminate your need to go over the top in the downswing and straighten out those golf shots. Now another key in that downswing position that I showed you was getting that wrist to bow a little bit in that downswing. So this would be a flat wrist, this would be cupped, and this would be bowed. You'll see guys like Dustin Johnson and John Rahm, they're famous for really bowing the ball quite a lot at the moment. But you don't need to probably go that far, but if you can work on your downswing, if you can work on bowing it just a little bit, you'll see straight away, as soon as I bow it, watch what happens. Club face shallows. Do it again shallows straight away and that really helps get rid of your golf slice. You can just bow that lead wrist just a little bit on that downswing. Great way to fix your slice and hit a lot more consistent golf shots. So that's all the the key areas you need to fix to get rid of golf slice. I'm going to go through a really simple drill you can practice. You don't have to be hitting golf balls to do this but you can. You can just practice it in your backyard at home. Take a club we get our stronger grip with our two knuckles showing on the left. Right hand a little bit more under it. Make sure the grip is in your fingers, not in your palm. Practice making what I call nine to three drills. And that's basically going about hip height here to hip height the other side. And what you want to be focusing on is this club face because we really want to focus on managing this club face better to get rid of that slice. And what we want to do with the club face is have it pointing more towards the ground on the backswing and more towards the ground on the follow through. So from face on it'll look like this. Club face towards the ground. Club face towards the ground the way through. And we can do a few like that. And eventually you can build up your speed. Getting that club face more towards pointing towards the ground rather than a position like this, where it's wide open pointing up to the sky. 
So down towards the camera line. So if I go to there, club face pointing more towards the ground or at least horizontal at the worst. And what you'll find, the more you practice this, you'll quickly get ready to slice. You'll probably start hitting a few more draws and even you might pull the odd one, but you're definitely going to stop hitting this big banana slice as it's called way around to the right. You'll definitely find you're hitting the ball a lot straighter and get a bit more of that right to left ball flight that we all want. That really helps get ready to slice. So make sure you practice that drill. That really will help you out. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions about getting ready to golf slice, make sure you put those below. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. Now below this video, there'll be a couple of links to some additional golf instruction. Make sure you check that out. It's well worth looking at. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.